Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have the final three of our opening four game series against the division rival Colorado Rockies. After opening up the season with a 5-2 victory, the Padres look to win the series and hopefully sweep. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming games, and if you'd like to follow along live, I'll be streaming each and every game on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash LTOD. Link is in the description below. The lineups for the second game remain the same as John Gray toes the rubber against Denelson Lamette. Can Lamette finally have his breakout season and cement himself as a top starter for the Padres? Let's find out how he fared. Pick things up in the top of the first, and he starts off solid, striking out Tapia to begin the game. Later in the inning, with the Rockies threatening, David Dahl delivers with a base hit up the middle that scores Arenado for the first run of the game. Bottom half now, Will Myers is going to hit one deep. And he's just shy of a grand slam, but it is deep enough to bring in the tying run from third. Denelson Lamette would settle down after the early run. He strikes out his counterpart to end the second. Then gets Daniel Murphy swinging. Next batter gets Arenado looking. In the fourth, he gets Trevor Story fishing. Next up is Brennan Rogers, and he gets him with the breaking ball as well. And he had the curveball working, getting Arenado to chase as well, leading off the six. Lamette would go six, striking out seven and only allowing the one run. Bottom of the six now, and Trent Grisham will give the Padres the lead. He ropes a line drive into the right center gap that will roll all the way to the track. Both runners score, and Grisham hustles all the way into third. Padres take a three to one lead. Rockies had quite a few chances in this one, but grounded in some tough luck. In the fifth, Daniel Murphy grounds into an inning-ending double play with the go-ahead run on third. Next inning, David Dahl bounces into one himself as Dozier tags out the runner and makes the throw. In the seventh, it's Brendan Rodgers this time as the Rockies ground into three double plays in three innings. Bottom of the seventh, score still 3-1, but not for long as Fernando Tatis Jr. sends a fly ball into the left field stands. His first home run of the season would give the Pods a 5-1 lead, and that's how the score would stand as they pick up their second win in a row. Rockies would look to get their first win of the season in a game three that would see Kyle Freeland taking the bump for the Rockies opposite Joey Lucchese. We pick up the action in the bottom of the second with catcher Francisco Mejia up with one on. And he would open up the scoring, driving one to deep left center that would get over the wall and give the Padres an early 2-0 lead. Three batters later, and it's Tommy Pham up with two outs and a runner on second. He would come up big with a base hit to center that would plate Juan Lagares and extend the lead to three. Bottom four now, and the pods are threatening again. Manny Machado up with the bases loaded and two outs, and he would line one hard, but right at Nolan Arenado, who would make the play and get Freeland out of trouble. Joey LaCasey was cruising through four, but would run into trouble in the fifth with Dom Nunez sending one to deep right. Just out of the reach of the jumping Will Myers and over the wall to cut the lead to three to one. Two batters later, it's the pitcher Freeland. Grounds one to short. And Tatis has trouble fielding it. E6 allows the runner, and it would hurt. 
Next batter, it's the leadoff man, Chris Owings, and he's going to smoke one to right. Freeland takes third, and there are now runners on the corners. Daniel Murphy up now, and he's going to deliver as well. His single makes it 3-2. to two. After getting Arenado out, it's Charlie Blackman now, and he's going to give the Rockies the lead with a gapper into left center that plates two. Rockies lead now, 4-3. to three. In the bottom of the seventh now, and Zach Roscup takes over for the Rockies. After a leadoff walk to Manny Machado, who would bring in Will Myers with one on and nobody out. And Myers would drive one deep down the left field line. His first home run of the season would take the lead for the pods at 5-4. to four. Score would stay that way until the top of the ninth with closer Kirby Yates coming on looking for his second save of the season. First batter he would face was Ian Desmond and he strikes him out swinging. Next batter is Dom Nunez, and he pumps a fastball by him for the second out. Final hope for the Rockies would be pinch hitter Josh Fuentes, but he would ground out to Eric Hosmer at first, and the Padres would win game three in comeback fashion. Odds would be looking for the sweep on Sunday. How would they fare in the final game of the series? Garrett Richards would take the mound for San Diego, and he would get into some trouble early. Bases loaded in the first with two outs and Trevor Story up to bat, but he would get the shortstop to fly out to center and avoid any damage. Jeff Hoffman would be on the hill for Colorado, and he would face similar first inning troubles. Runners on the corners with only one out and Eric Hosmer up to bat. And Hosmer would ground one right back up the middle and it would deflect off Hoffman but right to Arenado who would make a fine play and start the 1-5-4-3 double play to end the inning. Neither team would score any runs as we pick it up still at 0-0 on the ninth. Kirby Yates on the mound and Charlie Blackman grounds one to Tatis. He fields it cleanly but his throw pulls Hosmer off the bag and Charlie is aboard on the E6. Tatis is second in as many games. Next batter is David Dahl, and he grounds one down the first baseline that takes a wicked bounce off the bag and goes into right. Will Myers misjudges it, and Blackman scores all the way from first as Dahl takes third on the play. Next batter is Trevor Story, and with the infield pulls in, shoots one up the middle for an RBI base hit. Rockies now lead 2-0. Later in the inning, Story gets greedy and tries to steal second, but Mejia says no as his throw is just in time to get the runner. Bottom of the ninth now, and Scott Oberg has a save opportunity in his first appearance of the season. After a one-out base hit by Tatis, Manny Machado is up looking to cut into the deficit, and he erases it all with one swing of the bat, a no-doubter into the bullpens. His third home run in his many games ties it in the ninth. We go to extras in the bottom of the 11th. Eric Hosmer is up with the winning run on third, but he gets frozen by the Jake McGee fastball to end the inning. Fast forward all the way to the 16th now. Francisco Mejia is leading off, and he jolts one into deep right. Blackman goes back to the track to the wall, and he makes the catch as he runs into the wall. Later in the inning, it's Machado again with the winning run on second. And Machado comes through into the clutch again, lining one straight up the middle. Pham comes around third and scores easily to win the game. Padres walk it off in 16 and do so on the back of Manny Machado, who was responsible for all three San Diego runs. Heartbreaking loss again for Colorado as they give up leads in back-to-back -back games to go to 0-4 on the young season. 
Padres look to capitalize on their momentum as they welcome the Atlanta Braves to town tomorrow to begin a three-game set. Thanks again, as always, for watching, and we'll hope to see you in the next one.